On Friday, March 10, 2023, the financial regulator of California officially shut down the services and operations of Silicon Valley Bank, SVB. This occurred after the largest banking company in the United States experienced a capital crisis and bankruptcy in the past 48 hours. The case of SVB is the largest banking failure in the U.S. since the financial crisis of 2008 and the second largest ever in the United States. Here's how the largest bank in the U.S. collapsed, as reported by CNBC International. The downward spiral of the company began on Wednesday night when the bank surprised investors with news that it needed to raise $2.25 billion to support its financial balance sheet. The root cause of SVB's downfall originated from dislocation. When startup clients withdrew deposits to keep their companies afloat in the environment for IPOs and private fundraising, SVB found itself short of capital. Therefore, it was forced to sell all available bonds for sale with a loss of $1.8 billion, according to the bank. The urgent need for fresh capital, which came after the collapse of Silvergate Bank, which focused on crypto, triggered a wave of deposit withdrawals from SVB on Thursday. This happened because VCs instructed their portfolio companies to move funds, according to people familiar with the matter. SVB customers withdrew deposits of $42 billion by the end of Thursday. At the end of business that day, SVB had a negative cash balance of $958 million, according to filings, and failed to obtain sufficient guarantees from other sources. Falvey, a former SVB employee who launched his own fund in 2018, pointed to the highly interconnected nature of the technology investment community as the primary reason for the bank's sudden death. Leading funds, including Union Square Ventures and Kochi Management, have emailed their entire startup lists in recent days. Both instructed them to withdraw funds from SVB due to concerns about a bank run. On Friday, as SVB's stock continued to sink, the bank stopped its efforts to sell shares. The bank struggled to find buyers as the run on deposits made the sale process more difficult, and the effort also failed. Now, thanks to the bank run that ended with the seizure of SVB, remaining customers face an uncertain timeline to get their money back. While insured deposits are expected to be available next Monday, the largest portion of deposits held by SVB is uninsured, and it is unclear when they will be released. The rushed deposit withdrawals have caused the bank to be unable to pay its obligations when they come due, said the California financial regulator. The bank is now bankrupt.